property team. Today we're going to work on PowerPoint Chapter 2 Grader. When you downloaded your PowerPoint um, assignment, you should have had four um, pieces. You should have had an instruction piece. You should have had a RTF document, which is called Rich Text Format with an ending of STEM. You should have one PowerPoint that we will ending in Word, and then the student PowerPoint is the PowerPoint you're going to work on. I suggest to all my students that they open it and resave it again and call it one for the first time they attempt, or two, or three for each additional time. So just get rid of the front, call it one for the first time you're trying this chapter two grader, and save it with your last name. Make sure you upload that file when you're ready to get going. So this one Lewis exploring will be the file I will upload to my IT lab for grading. I do need to make sure that file is closed and no longer open on my computer when I upload it for grading. All right, let's get started. This is our um, PowerPoint and we downloaded exploring PO2 grader H1. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to step two. Make the following changes in slide one. In slide one, click to add a title, Women in STEM. And click to add a subtitle, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. You can now click the subtitle box and make changes on the subtitle, or you could highlight all the words and make changes that way. It asks us to change to a font size of 20. I'm going to come over here to the Home tab and to Font, and I'm going to change my 28 to a 20. You could also do the pull down menu. Either way would work. Okay? I'm going to save because I'm finished with step two. And then I'm going to go to step three. Insert six blank slides, six slides with a blank layout. Okay, I'm going to click after my title number one slide in my thumbnail view over here and go to new slides, go to blank, and click blank six times. And now we finish that and it says switch to outline view. This is what's called normal view. I'm going to come over here to the view tab and see here's outline view. It will give it an outline. We can type over here and it will insert the type on our slide stage. We have a slide sorter where we can move our slides around. We have a note page where we can create our slide but have additional notes for the speaker or for handouts. And of course, reading view. Reading view is larger and just to see the whole slide as a presentation. I'm going to hit escape to exit that. And then I'm going to go back to outline view. Okay, in outline view, we are now done with step three. So we're going to go down to step four and we're going to start entering some text. Make the following changes to slide two. Um, start by typing the name Three Women in STEM. Now this time I'm going to click on slide two over here in outline view and going to type name Three Women in STEM. And it says add three level bullets. To add a bullet in outline view, you press your enter key once and then your tab key once which brings you back up for a bullet level. And I'm going to type my biology teacher, my computer applications teacher, and my final one is my math teacher. And I'm done with step one, four and I'm going to save. Step five, make the following changes to slide three. So I'm going to click on slide three and I want to replace the title of the presentation. So I'm going to click on here and click up here in title. Thinking on a bigger scale. So I'm going to think 
on a bigger scale. And now this time, it wants us to add second level bullets. Now, enter and tab will give us one level, but if we hit tab again, we get a hyphen level. We are to try national names and the question mark and international names and a question mark. And then it says, add a speaker note. These may be hard questions to quickly answer because there are relatively few women in these fields. I'm going to highlight my notes and go click that over in the speaker tab. All right, I'm going to save because I finished step five and now I'm going down to step six. Make the following changes to slide four. Clicking on slide four. Here are some names to get you started. I again hit the enter button and hit tab once for the level one bullet. I type Sally Ride, an astronaut, and I type Krista McAlfee, also an astronaut. And for the speaker notes, this time I'm going to type it instead of copy paste for different reasons. Both of these women were important in the development of the aerospace industry. And make sure to get that period. Okay, I'm going to save. We finished step six and we're going to go down to step seven. Use the slide from outline option to insert an outline in the downloaded P02 grader H1 stem. Okay, so I'm actually going to click at the end of Krista McAfee. I'm going to come up here into home and at home I'm going to go to slide and then click slides from outline. So we're going to go grab that RTF rich text formatted document called PO2 Greater H1 and insert it here into the PowerPoint we've begun. Click that and it defaults and takes me right to my chapter two information and those files I downloaded. I double click and you can see it immediately gives me lots of inserts for women. Now, when I, for my PowerPoint. Now when I go down here, it says after the import, delete slide five. Slide five is a duplicate. It's the same thing as our slide one. So I'm gonna click on slide five and click delete. And then it says demote the last two bullets in the new slide five. So to demote these bullets, I click at the history and I go my tab and that gives it a second level bullet and I click at society and I hit tab. And again, it gives me a second level bullet. I'm going to save because that's the end of that step seven. Make the following changes to slide six. So I'm going to click on slide six and you see we have a lot of information about 20th century science women, STEM women. And cut and paste the text after the name of the first bullet. So the first bullet's name is Hepatia of Alexandria. I want to grab the information after her date and I'm going to control X to cut that information. I'm going to come over here to my notes in my speaker note panel. If you don't see this, you can hit your notes button right here and it'll bring your speaker notes. I'm going to go control V and put that paste into my notes in the notes pane. It then asked me to replace the word she with hapataya. So I'm going to replace that right there. And then it wants you to do the additional speaker notes with the next two bullets. Um, in my notes section, I want a new line for notes. So I'm going to come over here back to, I'm going to straighten out my German abyss Hildegard. I'm going to come after her date and highlight to the period. I'm going to go control and X to cut that and come after my hepatite information and copy control V or right click and paste either way. You can go right click and paste if you want. 
to insert that note. And then I'm going to make sure that Hildegard has her own bullet. I'm going to make sure Maria has her own bullet. And then I'm going to grab her information and control X. Sometimes we can put too much information on the slide. And now you can see we have three easy to read bullet points with our title and our speaker's note will help our presenter um, add in more information in a detailed way. We finish and save with step eight and we go to slide step nine. Make the following changes to slide seven. So I'm gonna click slide seven, which is where we were working, right after we were working. And it says delete all the information after physics. So there's physics. I'm literally getting rid of went to and Grace Hopper. It does not tell us to put this in the speaker note. So you can right click and delete. You could hit the delete button or you can go control X and just cut that information. I'm going to go ahead and add my physics um, parentheses back and my period. Position the insert point of your cursor, which is right after the period, at the end of the outline. And now we are on step 10. Open the reuse slide pane. So I'm going to come down up here to the home tab. I'm going to click on the chevron next to new slides. I'm going to come down to reuse slides and click that. Over here, I'm going to browse my computer. For the PO2 grader, I will go to Browse File, and I want to get that other PowerPoint that happened to be on my computer when I downloaded the files. There it is, PO2 grader work. I double click that, and then it gives me a view of these PowerPoint slides. They have not been inserted over here yet, it's asking me to insert slide two and three at the end of my presentation. I make sure my cursor's here at the end of slide seven. I double click slide two and I double click slide three and you can see they've been added for slides eight and nine. It says close the reuse panel. At first it says switch the order of slides eight and nine. So I'm gonna grab nine, move it right up before eight and then close my reuse panel and save because I have just completed step 10. Step 11 says switch back to normal view. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to view, which is the, wow, ninth tab. I'm gonna come back over here to normal and that's probably the way you're used to seeing slides and to work on in PowerPoint. Change the layout of the ninth slide to blank. So I'll come back to home and I'll go to layout and I'll go to blank. And you kind of see it'll throw the text over here to the right. And then it says check slides five and seven to ensure the title placeholder is Arial blank heading with a color set of black too. So I'm gonna come back up here to slide five. six and seven, and inside five, I'm gonna highlight that title. I'm gonna to go to Arial Black, which is scrolling up on the font dialog box, and then I'm going to go to Black Font, which is the fourth on my theme colors. It may be a little different on yours. And I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna do the same thing to all the titles in six and seven. Arial Black. And black font, Arial black, and black font. And then it also said to highlight your subtext and make sure you have a gray of 80% a text one. So that's the second choice in my first row. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna do the same thing to slide six and seven subtitles. And we are all set. Move slide five to just before slide eight. So I'm gonna grab slide five, move it after six, move it after seven over here in my thumbnail view and let go. And I'm going to save. Then when I go to step 12, it says create a section break between slides one and two. So I'll come up here to between slide one and two and click. And then I will come to the Home tab and click Section. 
add section. It asked me to rename this. I'm going to right click, rename my section and call it quiz. I'm going to do the same thing between slides four and five. Click between them, come to the home tab, click selection, add section, right click section and type the word history and hit rename. And then it tells me to do it finally again between slides six and seven. I click, I go to the home tab, the slides panel to section, add section, and type, right click on rename section and type reasoning and hit rename. That's the end of step 12. Now it says save the presentation. I believe I forgot something guys. I think we were supposed to actually delete these last few slides. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to save my presentation and close it and upload it for grading. Have a great day. There you go guys. It's an A. Now let's see if you can make a hundred. Have a great day.